the Irrational Confidence Podcast. The Penn State Nittany Lions are traveling to one of our personal favorite locations, Morgantown, West Virginia, where we recently found out, folks, it is illegal to burn couches in Morgantown. But for just a low, low cost of $350, you can buy a candle in the shape of a couch and burn that because there's no rule about burning candles. The Mountaineers are going to face the Nittany Lions. Penn State, another road favorite here, Fresh. A lot of road favorites. It's interesting to me. Penn State, time of record, is an eight and a half point favorite. Fresh, what you got for the Nittany Lions versus the Mountaineers? Can James Franklin win big games? That's the first right. thing we have to look at. Can James Franklin win big games? There's a lot of talent from this Penn State team, especially on the defense, that's no longer there. A lot of guys, right. lot of guys got drafted last year. Where's that next layer of Penn State players? We know they have they recruit very well. They have top ten recruiting passes every year. Right? Where's that next layer of player that's going to show up in this first game up in you know Morgantown against a feisty, aggressive, upstart, up and coming West Virginia football team? You've got to be ready to play. Last year, West Virginia really wasn't there at this time. They were kind of like still getting a feeling for themselves, and they were able and they were at home. Now you're on the road against a team that has confidence. They found their footing between Garrett Green. Uh, White and Donaldson, the two running backs. That right there allows them to build off of that. Know they can compete with you. Who's going to stand up for the Nittany Lions? You have two great running backs. I don't, I'm still not sold on Drew Lahr. Um, you lost, you know, Fats now the offensive lineman. Who's going to be able to step up the old line there? Julian Fleming comes in for Penn State to play receiver. When was the last time we had a big-time Penn State wide receiver? Allen Robinson, maybe? It's been a while. Um, but where's this offense going to come from? And add an extra layer. Because if right now, if this West Virginia defense can tackle and they can pop you at the line of scrimmage, it can maybe make it for a rough afternoon where you're stuck yourself in a, in a, in a hornet's nest. The clock is going to move fast in this ball game because both teams have great running backs, a great collection right. of running backs. They're kind of like two law firms, actually, if that's what I wrote down. you got the law firms of Donaldson and White for Singleton and Allen. Um, the clock is right. going to move quickly. You're going to turn the clock. Defense are going to get worn out. You're not going to get many possessions if that's happening. So you've got to find ways to punch it in and score and be physical and announce your dominance. Penn State, you are Penn State. Everyone's talking about your playoff team, you know, Dark Horse Big Ten champion contender uh, every single year, but you never win the big games. This is a big game. You're on the road. All eyes are on you. Can you get it done? You don't have to be ugly. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be ugly. You just got to get a win. James Franklin, how have you evolved as a head coach? What have you done this offseason after last year? Because you know what? You had your game versus Michigan, you lost. You had your game versus Ohio State, you lost. You had your game versus Ole Miss, you lost. You three big games last year, you lost. This is your first one here to redeem yourself, or are we going to get the same retread every single time? You beat everybody else in the league, and you play your tough teams, and you lose. You're 9-3, and three, you're 10-2, and two, and you get to go to a great bowl game because Michigan and Ohio State both went to the playoff. Show me something, please. Drew Alar, this is your third year as a starter. It's time for you to start growing up and leading this offense. It can't just be the three running backs. You've got to start taking over, making big boy throws. You know, Mick uh, Mc Sorley was there. Clifford was there. They had quarterbacks that got the job done. Somehow you you still haven't gotten it done yet. We're waiting for it to become a thing. We're waiting for you to show up and be the guy and wear it on your back. If that doesn't happen in this ball game, I think there should be some whispers of is he our really quarterback? Is this guy actually that gets to a Big Ten title or the playoff? Do we actually trust him? Um, you've got to show up here on Saturday afternoon in a hostile environment and find ways to win the football game. Even if it's a big third down pass here or there, running off play action, making key throws. You don't have to throw for 400 yards, but you've got to make the big boy throws to get the, the chains moving and to put points on the board. If you don't, how are you expected to do it versus anybody else if the season gets tougher? You're going to have to play Oregon. You're going to have to play Wisconsin down the road as well as Ohio State. You've got to find ways to grow up and figure it out. When I look at this ball game, outside of that, the defense, A.J. Harris, the big-time Harold recruit of Georgia, transfers up there to Penn State. Now he's going to lock down one of the sides of the field. How is these transfers? He's, he's one of many that are shum- joining this Penn State defense. How fast are they gel? How fast do they get on the same page under Tom Allen's defense? If they're ready to rock and roll and have the communication down, they'll be okay. If there's some issues in that secondary issues with linebackers and guys not being on the same page, you're going to start seeing gaps in the defense, and things are going to start unraveling pretty quickly. A.J. Harris is a solid player. If he can lock down one side of the field, it's going to help them in the line defense and help them get back to what they really should be. The other side, Garrett Green, this might be actually your biggest game. You've actually you know, started Kind of been working through it, but now the pressure's on you, the eyes are on you, the expectations are there. We have you in our top 30. Can you show up and get the job done with expectations of being a contending team and actually showing up and playing at a high level and contending for a big 12 title 
or being an outlier dark horse for a playoff spot. This is your chance to showcase and get it done. I'm really intrigued at how you do that. You have a great athletic ability. I want to see how you take it to the next level against a very elite defense that you're going to see right here on Saturday afternoon. Um, it, it's just going to be a fun ball game. I think we're going to be very limited in points, but time possession is going to be pretty high. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say West Virginia wins 24 to 20. Um, I just don't trust Penn State in a big game. I think West Virginia, the home crowd, will actually juice. They're going to find a way to get a touchdown late and shock Penn State. And we're going to go, let's go Mountaineers. Let's go drink some beers. Fresh is buying one of those candles shaped as a couch. His apartment or his condo complex will love that when it's burning outside. Put it out there in the parking lot. Right. Perfect. Fresh, you hit a bunch of great stuff there that I, I agree with on it. As well, I'm asking a lot of questions about the Penn State defense, and especially can they show and take over a game outside of the two running backs? Because I will say this I think West Virginia, obviously, most teams in college football will have a difficult time stopping Singleton and Allen together. Like, you have to kind of stem the tide and make sure one of those guys just doesn't go off and have a day. And almost you want to force Drew Allard to beat you. And Julian Fleming, not, probably the best wide receiver they've had in like three or four years. But again, is he going to be the product of where he was a good wide receiver as like the second or third guy for Ohio State? Or is he a great wide receiver in his own right? We will find that answer in a game like this. That question is still out there. As for West Virginia, everything you talked about there, Fresh. Green, Donaldson, White. Also remember, guy like Hudson Clement. Love that kid. Only a redshirt sophomore. That kid could be definitely a game changer for them. Also, they bring in Bray from Oklahoma State. Again, it's going to be which one of these teams can stop the other guy and then just completely dominate the line of scrimmage on uh, when they're on offense. That's who's going to win this football game. I'm excited for this game. Like this is, this is a noon kick on Saturday. I know that it's the same time as a game that's happening down in Atlanta, so you're going to have to be flipping back and forth between this. I have to flip it between it all. I'll watch it on ticker. Yeah. I am going to be, this is going to be the real game that I am excitedly locked in on and cannot wait to see because this is going to be a fun time down there in Morgantown. I am 100% with you here, Fresh. Let's go Mountaineers. Let's go drink some beers. I don't know. If, if West Virginia wins this, I expect the entire Mountaineer fan base that is of age to go full on Stone Cold Steve Austin, take two to smash them together and enjoy yourself there. I love this Mountaineers team, man. I think they're winning 28 to 21 in this football game. I think you're right. It's gonna, it won't be decided into the fourth quarter, but Garrett Green, who says he really looked up to a college player by the name of Johnny Manziel, wins it with his legs in this game. And I think that West Virginia, and people are gonna be saying, why in the world did anyone uh, pick Penn State, kind of like the, like we talked about with Georgia Tech and Florida State. People get kind of in those shadows there. West Virginia, this is a really good football team. If West Virginia wins, Pat McAfee will be epic TV. It'll be what, what he what he could do on live TV or his, or his show would be appointment television for everyone. It'd be pretty dang hilarious. Um, oh, absolutely fantastic! But. What if Penn State does lose? The heat that's on James Franklin, we've got to start having that conversation. Um, because again, that's another high profile game that he does not win. Um, right. and that can really become his undoing where you recruit great, but you don't get it done on the field when it matters. Uh, we'll see what happens on Saturday, but this is actually a big thing for Penn State. If you look at the name, it's Penn State. Well, you're Penn State by the name right now. You're 10 and 2 every single year. Are they falling into that Mark Rick Georgia level where 10-2 is great, but when are you going to start winning the Big Ten? Yeah. 